Welcome guys, it's Sid. I'm back with another video and this time I want to give you some insight and some advice on how you can study and learn Python effectively. So I started learning Python when I was in my 30s and by coding standards that doesn't really mean a thing but by life standards it does mean something because when you're in your 30s by then you've already reached and you've got to a point where you have responsibilities you may own a home you may have a loan you may have a family you may have a partner you may have children and like i did i realized learning and studying was actually a hard challenge in your 30s so in this video i'm taking you through some tips how you can learn more effectively remember things put things into practice and really help you become more successful as a data expert, as a coder, as an engineer in your field. So without any further delay, let's make a start. Number one, and this is probably the most important of the three tips I'll give you in this video, is to put into practice what you learn. So what do I mean by that? So it's okay to learn about, if you're learning Python, for instance, learn about tuples, dictionaries, learn about pandas, learn about NumPy, learn about lists, learn about loops, for loops, while loops. All these things are great to learn. The, the, the theory, they, they are what I call the theory. And if you learn those, that's fantastic. But the problem is, if you're not putting them into practice, you will forget. And that's what happened to me. The biggest problem I had was I kept learning, restarting, learning, restarting, learning, restarting. And that really held me back. When I first started learning Python, I, I started learning these concepts and I loved them, but then I, I began to forget them. I, I was like, oh man, what's tuple again? Or what's this again? What's a curly bracket mean? What's a round bracket mean? What's a square bracket mean? And these things really played with my head and they, they really affected my learning journey. So what I will advise you on this is learn the theory, but only learn the theory to a certain point and then put them into practice. So for instance, if you're learning about pandas, or you're learning about data types or variables, start to write out lists, start to write out dictionaries, start to take data and put them into those data formats and structures. Next time you've got a VLOOKUP you need to do in Excel, next time you've got a pivot table you need to do in Excel, do it in Python. So by putting into practice the little chunk size learnings that you are going through and acquiring, you'll be to reinforce that learning and remember it a lot better. Going from zero to 100 really doesn't benefit anyone. So going from zero to 25 and then 25 to 50, so on and so forth is the way you wanna approach this. So reinforce your learning by putting into practice what you've learned. And I'm being serious about this, code every day. By coding every day, you will naturally get things moving. You'll be able to remember things better. You'll be able to remember syntax better and how to logically lay out your code. And that's something that's really helped me. So that's tip number one, the most important one. Don't forget it. I hope it really helps you. So tip number two is to learn from mentors and even more importantly, fellow students. So what do I mean by that? If you're learning from someone who's already 10 years experienced or 12 years experience, it's actually a different kind of journey for you than it was for them. They started at a time when YouTube probably wasn't as mature as it is now, when learning materials, learning courses, when IT jobs that exist today didn't exist back then. So for you to learn effectively as of today, you want to learn from someone who maybe is two, three, four, five years ahead of you, not someone who's 10 years ahead of you. So when it comes to finding a mentor, my advice to you is to find someone who's just a few years ahead of you. And even me, I'm only three years in terms of Python. So I've been going at Python now for about three years, and that's why I find it easy to kind of relate to people who are learning Python for the first time. So find someone who is only a few years ahead of you in terms of where you are at the moment, 
and get them to become your mentor or your study partner. And learning together, you'll bounce off your learnings and experience a lot better. So make sure you find someone who can join you on your journey to learning Python. Tip number three is to join competitions. So what do I mean by that? I don't mean like hackathons and stuff like that. They're more suited for, you know, full stack developers and full stack software engineers. I'm talking about competitions on Kaggle, competitions and interview practice questions on Leet Code. So check those two websites out if you haven't already. Now this is something I'm guilty of. I've done a few competitions on Kaggle personally, but on this channel I'm hoping to do a lot more and I'll take you through some of those competitions and how I would approach them using Python as a language of choice. So check those out. So there's hundreds of competitions on Kaggle you can join and you can take part in. They've got a huge amount of data sets across all subject matters and industries across the world from sports, cars, fitness, you name it. So you can find a simple data set and answer some simple questions using the Python that you've already learned. So I highly recommend you check out competitions online. They'll help you get better and really reinforce your learning. And that's it guys, just to give you a few tips to help you with your journey. Um, learning a new programming language is by no means easy, especially when you get to your 30s like I have. Your day, you're juggling more responsibilities, you've got childcare to deal with, you've got your family to deal with, and you've got your day job as well. And your day job may not necessarily give you the time to learn. So that's another important factor. But I highly recommend you start making some daily steps and daily improvements in getting those hours in, learning more regularly, and then putting into practice what you've learned. Checking with your co-workers, your co-students, your mentors, checking and taking part in competitions. All these things will help you become a better learner and a more effective coder. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. Do subscribe if you haven't already. I will post more content on technology, on finance, on learning and development, anything that I've gone through that I think will help you guys. I'm more than happy to share. Take care guys. Thank you for watching.